Number 3 says, uh, 3a says, simplify 27x to the power 6 to the power 1 over 3 here. Um, by laws of indices, um, there is a law of indices which says that uh, if we have x, y, like this, uh, raised to the power a, this would give us... Um, x to the power a y to the power a so everything in the brackets is affected by the power right so that's the same thing that we do here so which means 27 is affected by the power third and x to the power 6 is affected by the power third so that means that uh, we'll have 27 to the power third and uh, x to the power 6 to the power third right and then moving on 27 to the power 1 over 3 we should remember that to the power 1 over 3 means that cube root right so to the power 1 third means cube root of 27 so 27 to the power 1 over 3 means cube root of 27. And uh, when you have something inside the brackets with a power, and then you have another power outside the brackets, what you do by law of indices, you multiply the powers, which means here we say 6 multiplied by a third. So this becomes x to the power 6 multiplied by 1 over 3 right and then uh, moving on that basically becomes uh, when we are looking for the cube root of 27 we are looking for the cube root of 27 we are looking for a number that we multiply by itself three times giving us 27 right Yes, so we're looking for a, a number which we multiply by itself three times, giving us 27. So that number we can see it's 3, right? It was uh, 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. That gives us 27. So if we multiply 3 by itself three times, it gives you 27. So that means the cube root of 27 is 3, right? So the cube root of 27 gives me 3 and uh the here we have x to the power six by a third right uh, let's figure out what is six multiply multiplied by a third so that is six over one multiplied by a third if you do cross multiplication you can say three into three one three into six two right so that becomes two times one that is two 1 times 1, that is 1, right? So that is 2, basically. So here, this gives us 2, right? So our final answer for the first one is uh, 3x squared, right? And uh, for part B, it says if 32 to the power uh, minus 2 over 5 is equal to 2 to the power p find p right so you have 32 to the power minus 2 over 5 right and uh, it's equal to 2 to the power p right basically what you want to do when you have something like this you would like to create a situation where you have uh, powers of the same number on both sides of the equal sign. Right. So here we have 2 to the power p. Right. It would be best if we have 2 to the power something on this side. Right. So that we have on the left hand side we have 2 to the power a certain number uh, equal to on the right hand side we have 2 to the power p 
so this is the situation that we want to create so we have to express 32 as a power of 2 right so 32 as a power of 2 we figure it out you you can try by trial and error to say uh, 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 you test it out right to see which one 2 times 2 that's 4 times 2 that's 8 times another 2 that is 16 times another 2 that is 32 which means that uh, if they, how many are they they are 5 here right so which means that 32 is equal to 2 to the power of 5 right so i can replace here 32 by 2 to the power of 5 so instead of 32 i write 2 to the power of 5 so that is my 32 and the 32 here is raised to the power minus 2 over 5 so i still have minus 2 over 5 this side right and then it's supposed to be equal to 2 to the power p right and then by law of indices like we said previously if you have a power inside the brackets and then another power outside the brackets by law of indices you multiply the two powers right so that means on this side it becomes 2 to the power 5 multiplied by minus 2 over 5 right um it's equal to on the other side we have 2 to the power of p right so now we have to figure out what is uh, 5 multiplied by minus 2 over 5 right so i make it 5 over 1 here and by cross multiplication i see 5 into 5 1 5 into 5 1 and uh, this becomes minus 2 right so this gives us minus 2 which means 2 to the power minus 2 is equal to 2 to the power p right now we have created this situation that we were talking about earlier earlier we said that uh, we want to create a situation where we have a power of 2 on the left hand side and a power of 2 on the right hand side right so that that is what we have created here right once you have the situation where you have 2 to the power minus 2 equal to 2 to the power p that means the powers should be the same because this 2 and this 2 are the same right and we are saying these sides the left hand side is equal to the right hand side right so that means the powers should be equal right since we are raising uh they are both powers of 2 right so basically that means minus 2 is equal to uh, p right so that means this p is equal to this minus 2 since it's 2 to the power minus 2 equal to 2 to the power p so the powers should be equal so the p here is equal to minus 2 that is the solution